Hello everyone, we will continue the topic IDOX and in this video we will discuss three terms. Firstly, what is message type, what is IDOC type and lastly we will talk about segment. And out of these three terms, message type and IDOC type are widely widely used terms in the project that those who are already working in IDOCs, they can understand how important these two terminologies are, message type and IDOC type. Now, what is message type and what is IDOC type? Message type tells us about the meaning of the data, whereas IDOC type tells us about the structure of the data. Message type tells us about the meaning of the data. IDOC type tells us about the structure of the data. We will understand this term by a example. What is our requirement? We want to transfer employee data having employee ID and employee name. How many column data we are migrating? Two column. We want to migrate employee data having employee ID and employee name. In this sentence, where is meaning and where is structure? Where is message type and where is IDOC type? We are transferring employee data. This is your message type. Employee ID, employee name is your IDOC type. But this message type, it is telling us the meaning of the data. Means for which purpose you are firing the IDOC. You are firing the IDOCs to transfer the employee data. But what are the various columns you are migrating? What is the structure of your data? What data you are migrating? That is called as your IDOC type. So what is your message type? Message type tells us about the meaning of the data. It is telling us for which purpose you are firing the IDOC. Suppose simple. We are transferring employee data. This is the enough information. It's a meaningful information. It means this is called as message type and the transaction code for the message type is WE81. Now I will come on to IDOC type. IDOC type is also called as basic type. If someone is using the term IDOC type or if someone is using the term basic type, one and the same thing. It specifies the structure of the data which you are exchanging. It specifies the structure. Structure means what? What are the various columns or what are the various columns data you are exchanging? That is called as your IDOC type. Suppose simple example. We are transferring employee data. Then employee ID and employee name are the examples of your IDOC type. Structure of data is called as IDOC type and the transaction code for the IDOC type or basic type is WE30. For the message type, transaction code is WE81. For the IDOC type, the transaction code is WE30. Now, if I will tell us the difference, if I will read the difference, simple one-liner difference, IDOC type specifies the structure of the data, where message type specifies the meaning of the data. Now, we will come on to segment. What is segment? Segment are the elements of the IDOC type. Segments are the elements of the basic type or you can say IDOC type. Segment are always storing the data. If you remember in the previous video, then I expanded the data record. At that time, you are able to see the data in the segment, in the segment. So where we are defining the segment, 
we are defining the segment in the IDOC type. Now I will show you in the system so that you can understand a picture how segment is the part of your IDOC type. Suppose simple. I will go to WE30 transaction code 30. And you all know just now we discussed WE30 is the transaction code for the IDOC type or basic type. Suppose this is our IDOC type. If I am displaying this IDOC type, this IDOC type has this segment, has this segment. If I will double click on the segment, you can see if I will go to the segment, this segment has two columns, employee ID, employee name, and it will store the value of employee ID and employee name. So what is segment? Segment is storing the data and where you are defining the segment. Segments are the part of your IDOC type or segments are the part of your basic type. Now you can create the segments from here also or we have a separate transaction code also to create the segment that is WE31. But yes, segments are storing that data and in the previous video i showed you that whenever we extended that data record data stored in the segments so those segments are the part of your idoc type and if you see this segment has two columns this employee id and employee name or you can also understand in the segment we are defining the columns and they will store the data of the item. So, but we studied in this particular video. In this video, we understood the most important terms. I'll say most important two terms, message type and IDOC type. Message type is all about the meaning of the data, whereas IDOC type is all about the structure of the data. The transaction code for the message type is WE81. The transaction code for the IDOC type is WE30. Now, after that, we covered what is segment. Segment is the part of your IDOC type. Yes, we have a separate transaction code also for the segment WE31. Or you can create from WE30. Anyways, it will navigate you to WE31 itself. Now, what is segment? Segment in the segment, we are defining the columns. We are defining the columns and they will store the data of the IDOC. So that's it in this particular video. In the next video, we will start with the practical part of all these things. Thank you.